Officials say the Taliban suicide bomber was dressed as a day laborer and was somehow able to enter the heavily protected Bagram airfield north of the capital, Kabul. They say he was standing in line with Afghan laborers when he detonated his suicide vest on what's the largest U.S. base in Afghanistan. At least four people were killed and 18 others wounded. Their identities weren't immediately known. A Taliban spokesman said the attack had been planned for months. It comes just days after a separate attack on the German consul in northern Afghanistan that killed four people and wounded more than a hundred. It also underscores the foreign policy challenges in Afghanistan facing U.S. President-elect Donald Trump when he takes office in January.